Motorsports is a very mental sport. Staying properly hydrated at the track can help our mind and body work to its optimum. In this video, I'll provide some guidance on making sure that we're drinking enough water at the track, describe some consequences if we don't, and describe some warning signs to look out for it for yourselves and for others. The information provided is not intended to be medical advice. If you have real questions, talk to your doctor. Let's first understand some consequences of not being properly hydrated on a race weekend. Our body is made up of about 60 to 75 percent water. The brain is 95 percent water, with the lungs being 85 percent and our blood 82 percent. Lack of hydration can lead to dangerous outcomes, such as poor decision making, slower reaction times, muscle cramping, and even seizures or death. We all know the mental aspect of motor racing. When on track, our brain is occupied with one job, helping us be as fast as equipment will allow and the sense of self-preservation. Even a 2% fluid loss to body weight ratio can lead to a degradation in aerobic performance and cognitive ability. For a 200 pound person, this is only four pounds. Consider you're approaching the brake zone of turn one at Road America in a high horsepower car. You're approaching that brake zone at near 180 miles per hour. If not properly hydrated, you could have a momentary loss of cognitive ability and forget where you are at that moment and forget to brake. This is a worst case scenario. Our body responds to heat and begins to cool itself by releasing this heat primarily in the form of sweat. This accounts for 80% of heat loss during exercise or performance. From the chart shown, heat in a race car is radiant heat from the sun, ambient air temperature, and heat from the hot floor tunnel. Heat out is conductive via an air-ducted racing helmet and or cool shirt, and evaporative if the suit can breathe. To be properly hydrated for a race weekend, prep should begin about 24 hours before our first event. For optimal health in general, it is recommended to drink about half our body weight in ounces of water. For a 200 pound person, this is 100 ounces of water. Most water bottles on the market are 24 ounces, so this is four of these a day. An easy task to accomplish. This is four trips to your work water fountain a day, two before lunch and two after. In the truck on the drive to the track, have some extra water bottles in the cab and you're set. Four hours prior to your first event, you should target about 0.1 ounces per pound of body weight. For a 200 pound person, this is 20 ounces or one full water bottle. In hot conditions, add an additional 8 to 16 ounces prior to your session, or in the example above, that's 38 to 36 ounces total. About 15 to 20 minutes prior to your session, most people can tolerate an additional 10 to 14 ounces of water, or one single 16 ounce bottle of water. To see if you're properly hydrated, you can use this urine chart as a reference. Basically, the more clear your urine is, the better off you are. The more dark yellow your urine is means you need to drink more water. After our session, we need to replenish what we've lost. This is fluids and electrolytes. Electrolytes are essential for conduction of electrical energy between and within cells, for maintaining cognitive function, communication between nerves and muscles, and for muscle contraction itself. Sodium is lost from sweat and is also the most crucial element we need in order for us to operate at peak performance. Some examples of good products to drink post-session to help restore our electrolytes are coconut water, a 50-50 mix of water and Pedialyte, H2 Pro Hydrate, which comes in tablet form and are basically sodium tablets. Gatorade and similar sports drinks contain primarily carbohydrates, but do contain electrolytes and have been proven to boost performance of activities lasting longer than one hour. Just don't make Gatorade your only drink for the weekend. Avoid the use of energy drinks such as Monster and Red Bull at the track. These are more lifestyle drinks than sports drinks and contain lots of sugar. Now that we are at the track, let's look at a few things to pay attention to. The chart shown on the right shows symptoms of heat exhaustion and the worst case, heat stroke. Pay attention to any of these symptoms from you or anyone at the track including spectators, crew, corner workers, or anyone outside the track with you. If you or anyone shows symptoms of headache, dizziness, or irritability, get that person to a shaded or air conditioned area immediately and get them drinking water. If you or anyone shows symptoms of pulsating headache, lack of sweat, vomiting, confusion, red dry skin, or strong rapid pulse rate, call 911. Special thanks to Dr. Bakanowitz of Ohio Northern University for much of the information presented. This information is from a seminar he presented at the 2019 PRI trade show. I also wish to thank Dr. Laura Ellis. If you watch this video all the way to here, I sincerely appreciate you. Be sure to click subscribe and ring the bell to get alerted when we upload new content geared to help you tune the chassis and the nut behind the wheel. You. As always, be safe, go fast, and have fun. Peace.